Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Google DNS. Uh, it's a public, you know, DNS thing from Google, and it speeds up your internet a little bit. And, you know, it helps you out more than anything. It's you know, you can come here. I'll get, provide this link in the description and read all about it. This is just more of a setup video on how to get it up and running. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go start control panel, and then you want to go ahead and get to your network and internet, and then uh, network and sharing center. You can also get to this by clicking, right clicking here and going open network and sharing center, which is a lot easier, but still. Uh, change adapter settings. You want to go here and right click. Properties. And then you want to go to your IPv4 or Internet Protocol version 4. Click on that and then click properties. And then use the following DNS servers. It will normally be on obtain the servers automatically. And then on the first one, you're going to do 8.8.8.8. .8 and then on the second one, 8.8.4.4. And then you want to go ahead and uh, click OK. And then you can close out of that. And then you want to go back to your web browser and type in your default gateway, which is most of the time 192.168.1.1. Hit Enter. Then you want to go ahead and log in. And uh, wait for this to load up. And then you want to go and find where your DNS settings is on your router and uh, wait for it to load and then right here you see on the Netgear router you see right here this and you'll want to go ahead and choose it'll normally be on get automatically from internet service provider but go ahead and choose uh, use these DNS servers type in you know 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and 8.8.4.4 uh, it doesn't have to be in that order but that's just the order I use you can put the you know you can switch it around I mean, not the, not that part, I'm talking about uh, it doesn't have to be primary or secondary. It can be either one. And then you want to click, you know, save. I can't really scroll down because it will show my passwords, but whatever. Just click save. And then um, exit out of that, and you're done, basically. Now, any blocked websites that your internet service provider may have been blocked will most likely be undone. Uh, any websites you can't access for some reason will most likely be undone. And also, your internet will be a lot faster if it's slowed down for some reason. And, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Peace.